Welcome to Almost Home Yoga. If this is your first time, remember that you are your own best teacher, so pay attention to your body and practice safely. Also, remember that it's a journey, so you just have to keep showing up for yourself. Every day is different. And finally, thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're here, and now that you're here, you're almost home. So let's do more yoga. Okay, so today I'm outside in nature, and the theme for this practice is choosing joy. So I don't have any props with me, but if you want to grab a strap, a block, anything that would help you in your practice, then go ahead and do that now. And then we'll begin by settling in, as we always do. Feel like you're being drawn up by that space at the back of your jawbone. Feeling the spine get long and light. Let the legs be heavy. Perhaps turn your palms facing up today as a way to receive all the good energy. And then if you're comfortable closing your eyes, just start to notice your breath. And perhaps that's the first moment of joy in your practice is feeling the freedom and the fullness as you inhale. And the gentle softening as you exhale. So continue to do that. I'm going to suggest that your only intention today is to find moments of joy in this brief practice. I highly recommend taking your mat outside and just letting your body tell you what it needs what it wants. So just take a few more breaths. Maybe another moment of joy would be noticing the sounds around you. Maybe it's the birds. deep inhale and exhale and then float your eyes open and we'll begin to move so I'm going to start on all fours today make sure your fingers are spread wide protect your wrist push into the thumb wrist right under the shoulders knees right under the hips and on an inhale lift your tailbone raise the crown of your head and on your exhale, reverse the curve, starting from the base of the spine, ending with the crown of the head. So keep on doing that a few more times. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel free to do any wiggling or moving around or holding as you go through the motions. Maybe it's the head and the neck or the hips. Do one more. And then on an inhale, come back to neutral. Go ahead and take your right leg out behind you. So I'm being your mirror, right? Doesn't really matter as long as we do both sides. And then you're gonna take the opposite thumb to the air. Take one deep inhale. And exhale, hand to the mat, knee to the mat. Take your knees a little bit wider and right away rock back into a child's pose. Just see how that feels with your body. So one way you might cultivate joy is to lengthen your neck in all the poses. Being mindful of the placement of your head. So make any adjustments here if you need. See if you can find some more length in the side body as well, from the armpits all the way down to the hips. Good. 
skin, doing any wiggling if it would feel good, maybe pushing one armpit toward the mat and then the other. Small motions. And they can be your own. And then on your next inhale, come back up to all fours. We'll do a couple more cat-cows, arching and hauling out and arching and hauling out and inhaling come on back to neutral and take that other leg out behind you heel in line with the hips again check in with the placement of your head try not to let it drop i have a tendency to do that a lot maybe find something beyond the front of your mat and then take the opposite thumb to the ceiling Or the sky. One more deep inhale. And on your exhale, release. Bring the knee and the hand down. Open up your knees a little bit more and drop back into child's pose again. Walking your arms way forward. Or maybe you want to do something different. Check in with your head and your neck. And settle in for three deep breaths. You could make this more active if you want by using your hands to push your hips back. Make sure your head is really heavy and supported. And then inhaling, reach your arms way far forward. Leave them where they are. Curl your toes under. See if you can come to the top of a push-up plank. All right, so there's our length for our down dog. Again, not letting the head drop, but staying long. And then inhale, lift your hips up and back for our first down dog. So maybe you want to walk your hips or walk your feet out. Check in with your ankles. So another way to cultivate joy is having a new perspective. So I invite you to really use your eyes in this practice. Look around. You're upside down like this. If you can be upside down, just taking it all in from that different perspective. And now I'm going to inhale my left leg to the sky. Exhale, pull my knee into the chest and set up for warrior two. So heel to arch alignment right away. Bringing my shoulders over my hips. And I'm going to very slowly start to settle my hips downward, making my stance a little bit wider, creeping that front foot out. Check in with your head. Again, feeling like you're being held up from the upper back of the jawbone. One more deep inhale, exhaling, soften, and then stay right where you are. Bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers and open up your chest, maybe gazing upward. And on an exhale, humble warrior. So slowly and gently bring your shoulder to the outside of your, inside of your knee. See if you can take your knuckles to the sky. Find a little freedom. And then release your hands. Slowly turn all ten toes toward the long edge of your mat. Soften your knees. And then extending your hips upward. Nice deep forward fold. Use props if it's helpful. Again, just noticing Use your eyes, use your breath, root your feet. And then walk yourself to warrior two on the other side. So turn those opposite toes out. Maybe the 
right toes and bring yourself right back up. So things that bring us joy, relationships. I'm actually in the corner of the backyard of the home I grew up in. It's great to be with family. Find ways to be with your tribe, even in these challenging times. Excellent. Stay right where you are. Interlace your hands behind you, maybe the awkward way so it feels like you have an extra thumb. Lift your chest. Open up. Slowly and gently, bringing your shoulder to the inside of your knee. Use your legs. Take your knuckles to the sky if you can. Release the neck. And then we're going to turn ourselves back to the other side of the mat. So lifting your back heel and coming right back to down dog. Again, maybe just noticing, keep your eyes wide open. This dog might feel different already. All right, so no judgment. Stay positive. Feel the length and the strength in your body. Then inhaling top of push-up plank. Make ourselves strong. We're going to do a little bit of core. So again, maybe find something about a foot off your mat to gaze at so we're not dumping our head. And then tap your right knee and your left knee and both knees and lift. Tap left, right knee, <laughs> and left knee, and both knees, and lift. And right knee, and left knee, and both knees, and lift. And then float your knees down, take them a little bit wide, and come on back to child's pose. Take three deep breaths. Really let your head be supported. Maybe there's a moment of joy in releasing that. Eventually all these little moments add up to a practice or an entire day filled with joy. Pull your low belly in. Lift your hips. Come on back to down dog. So another fun way to find some joy is to do things a little bit differently. So I'm going to invite you to take your right foot, put the top of the foot on the mat, like ballerina pointed, with the knee a little bit bent, and then inhale, lifting up. Feel a nice stretch in the ankle, front of the ankle. <sighs> Didn't even know we were tight there. So go ahead and put that foot down. And do the same thing on the other side. So put the top of the left foot on the mat. Knee is bent. And then inhaling, lifting up as you straighten. It's a nice little deep stretch in the front of the foot. So take a moment to check in and see what it is your body might be asking for. It's a great way to cultivate a practice. So my body's asking for pigeon pose. Yours might not be. I want you to do whatever feels right for you. I'm going to lift my right leg up in the air, pull my knee toward the chest, and then I'm going to set up by coming onto that knee, putting it outside the wrist. I've dropped my back knee to make it a little easier. All right, remember you're your own best teacher. If this doesn't work for you, you could lay on your back and do a version of pigeon on your back. I'm going to scoop my shin forward a little bit. Again, lift my chest. Let's find that moment of openness and light. And then exhale, fold forward. Try to keep your body weight on the midline. I'm really seeing if you can 
Use those exhales to soften and find some openness and settle in for three breaths. that back knee maybe maybe you can get a hold of heel or the foot and then try and turn your shoulders back parallel to the front short edge of your mat and then let that go I'm gonna come right back to down dog walk it out a little bit and then just get ready to go to the other side so, good idea to keep your practice focused and brief. I'm going to inhale the other leg up. Pull the knee in, outside the wrist. And get ready for pigeon on the other side. Get lifted and light first. And exhaling, fold. Three deep breaths. Relax the jaw. Just enjoy the moment. And then raising your shoulders up again, maybe reaching for that back foot. Again, do what feels right for your body. Bring those shoulders around. Exhaling, gently release back to down dog one last time. there's any other way you'd like to get upside down in your practice, feel free to do that now. We're all about changing our perspective, right? Getting rid of the neg negativity, not choosing to focus and nurse a grievance. Rather Choosing joy. So back to child's pose we go. I'm going to finish my practice with a thread the needle right from this pose. Again, if there's anything else you prefer, maybe it's a different twist, try that. So I'm going to take my right leg, thread it, right arm, thread it right under my body, rolling onto that shoulder, checking in with the position of my head, keeping my eyes wide open here. Maybe take that top arm behind you, reaching for the wrist, the crease of the hips. And then switching sides. Other arm under, let the head be heavy. Keep your gaze soft but aware and maybe bring the top arm behind you and soften On back to child's pose. Inhale, pull your low belly in. Lift your hips up. Just gonna swing my feet around so I come back to a seated position. 
sit in Dandasana, staff pose. A great way to cultivate calm and stability. Check in with the position of your head. Feel that lift from the back of the jaw again. Finding that moment of joy and connecting to your body. Stay positive. Surround yourself however you can with your tribe. Slowly and gently walk your hands forward. Maybe this is where you use your strap. I'm just going to take three deep breaths here, toes drawn back toward the knees. One last time to check the position of the head and make sure that it's head and neck or just an extension of the spine. So not hyperextending and not dipping. Inhale, rest your hands on your legs to bring yourself back up to center. Bend the knees so we can safely roll down onto our backs. So let's use our core to do this. If it's okay, you could always keep your hands behind your hips for support. We're going to exhale to the count of five. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let everything go. So tuck your shoulder blades together. Maybe one last time, just gazing with awareness, whatever's above you. And then on an exhale, close your eyes. And simply breathe. Come back to the joy of just following your breath. Nothing to do until you hear my voice again. ready, maybe make a fist, scrunch up your toes, circle your wrists, spread your fingers wide, point your toes, and spread them wide, and then use your low belly to bring your feet close to your hips. Maybe take your knees from side to side a bit as we prepare to come back to seated. When you're ready, roll to one side, maybe keeping your eyes closed this time, right? Just push yourself up to seated. If it's okay with you, rest your hands, palms facing up again. It's a way to notice and receive that great energy you've created. invite you to recall one moment of joy you found in this practice. For me, it was a little tiny mushroom I saw on the edge of my mat. Inhaling, bring your hands to your heart center. Exhaling, bow your head to your own heart, giving yourself that mental pat on the back for showing up every time. 
So remember to choose joy. Find the little moments that add up to hours, that add up to days. Find your tribe, get outside, stay positive. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Namaste.